Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make an impact resistant hollow casting using the SmoothCast 57D urethane resin. Now just remember that our objective here is to create a hollow casting that is very impact resistant and is lightweight which will re result in saving money and saving material. Now. Remember, not all resins are created equal, and choosing the wrong product for a project can result in a loss of material, loss of time, loss of money, and lots of frustrations. Here you can see me rotationally casting a product that has a snap cure, meaning the resin set up as soon as the work time had expired. Now the SmoothCast 57D has a gradual cure which allows the product to be slushed around in the mold while it's slowly curing. Because of its mix ratio of one to one by volume, I don't need to use a gram scale here, and its semi-translucency allows me for easy tinting with just a drop of the So Strong pigment. Now remember, you wanna tint the part B of your resin and mix it in thoroughly before combining the A and B together. As always, you wanna make sure to scrape the sides and the bottom of your mixing container thoroughly. And after I pour the resin into my mold, I'm gonna visually inspect and make sure that all the walls of my mold are covered with a layer of resin. Remember, this is our detail coat and you don't need access material. You wanna make sure to get all the detail. Now, because of its three minute pot life, you wanna make sure that you keep rotating that mold until three minutes has passed. Here you can see me dripping some of the material over the edge to ensure that the casting thickness off the edge is same throughout. And here I'm scraping any of the material back into the mold. And we're gonna rotate the mold until that pot life has expired. Now I'm gonna set the mold upside down here. And the reason I'm doing so, just in case I have any of the product that hasn't set up yet and is still liquid, it's gonna make its way down into the drain container, resulting in the casting thickness that is same all throughout my cast. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for about 10 minutes. Now we're ready to mix up our second layer. And we're gonna dispense again, one to one easy mix ratio by volume. Now, because we're actually gonna try to build up the thickness on the second and the third layer, you can go ahead and add a little bit of extra resin. Remember, we're shooting for a final casting thickness of about three quarters of an inch or about four to five millimeter thickness. And once the third layer is set up, we're gonna leave the mold to fully cure for about 45 minutes. And now that our casting has fully cured, we're ready to peel the glove mold away. And as we can see, the detail of the mold has fully transferred in our casting. And any of the access can be trimmed away with a sharp knife or sand it down. And a quick hand check tells me that my casting has the same thickness throughout. A impact check with a hammer tells me that the casting is fully impact proof with numerous impacts, no scratches, no cracking. And there you have it. A impact resistant hollow casting with the 57D. If you would like to purchase any of the materials used in this video, you can do so at any one of our worldwide distributors. If you have any questions or if you have an idea about what we should mold next, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the thumbs up button. And to keep up with our latest mold making and casting videos, remember to subscribe.